This is going to be a quick video. And this is in relation to the Katie Hill um, thoughtful. When Katie Hill um, got in trouble for the, um, having sex with a staffer. And all that Me Too movement crap. So, um, this is why everything in the news just seemed planned to me, especially with these elites that work in these businesses. Like, what, what is the, um, possibility, or what are the odds that a McDonald's CEO steps down after relations with employee? Then after this, we're going to look at another story in relation to the same thing with Katie Hill. And this is very strange. This, this world is very strange. How these stories come out back to back to back and how it just seem all planned. Reports. Details of Easterbrook separation. So let's rewind. The CEO of McDonald's has stepped down after admitting to having a relationship with an employee. Steve Easterbrook became head of the fast food chain in 2015. Members of the company's board voted on his departure Friday after an internal review. The company did not give details about Easterbrook's contact with the employee, other than to say it was consensual. McDonald's forbids managers from having romantic relationships with direct or indirect reports. Details of Easterbrook's separation package will be released Monday. Okay, what does it being consensual have to do with anything? Of course it was consensual. I mean, did, he rape, did he rape her? Like, come on. Of course it was a consensual. Steve Easterbrook has been pushed out of the company after violating company policy and consensual relationship with the employee. The corporation has said Sunday. And this is this is straight Katie Hill shit, man. And this is the script continuing. It, it's just very strange. And uh, of course, they're gonna give him a service package. If anything, they gave him a service package to um to go along with this story. They're not saying well how they found out. He was dating an employee. This is this is like so freaking obvious. Something is up in the world. Like they're pushing. Like the government is pushing for something. The elites are pushing for something. I don't know. They're pushing for something. Because this is very strange. More and more. More and more. It seems like. Let's go to Minnesota. Minnesota, um, let's see, Minnesota, I forget, let's see, Minnesota, let's go back today, okay, what was it called again, um, uh, revenge porn, Minnesota revenge porn, dun, 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 revenge, uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. And this was just a couple of days ago. Senator Scott Double said he's been harassed for the past five months by a man who he had intimate virtual relationships. Now, I read this yesterday. This guy was in um, on online chat room. He met some dude on the online chat room, sent this dude pictures. Then... He met up with the dude, I don't know how many months after they met online. They met once online. Anyway, he's, this, this homosexual um, devil sent naked photos to the guy he met online. The guy sent the naked photos to his colleagues. So he, he's a Democrat senator. He sent these naked photos to his lover, Russia lover. Somehow got the number, the numbers, the information. The story don't make sense, right? He got the information of the other senators and sent them pictures of um, this dude privates and everything. So now tell me how strange this is that these two stories come out right after Katie Hill. Like, it's, like, it's, it's just very strange. Let's play this video. Alleged case of revenge porn, and this time the victim is Minnesota State Senator Scott Dibble. Someone he had an online relationship with sent explicit texts and, picture, and pictures to Dibble's colleagues in the Senate. As John Croman reports, it came after months of threats from the man. People um, who are... Senator Scott Dibble... Bullshit, man. Bullshit. For 
19 years, leading the charge on transportation funding and the freedom to marry bill. Now he's in an entirely... Fucking, um, another fucking pervert, excuse my mouth, a pervert homosexual. On um, devil. ...different kind of fight after being hit with revenge porn. This morning I became aware of an email that was sent to my colleagues from someone who had been a friend of mine, which also contained some images, some, some photographs that were of a... So, um, how this little story, little made-up story goes, they sent it to the senator's colleague's email. So I, I don't care much for sending senator's emails about what's going on in the world. They know what's going on in the world. They know they're corrupt. They know what the devil worshippers are. Intensely private, personal, and explicit nature. Senator Dibble and his husband of 11 years, Richard Leva, sat down with Minnesota Public Radio. He got married 11 years ago. Gay marriage was legal 11 years ago. 11 years ago was 2008. Gay marriage was legal in 2008. Are we serious? Let me double check that. I thought gay marriage was recent. 11 years ago? They must have did um, them, them gay ceremonies. Before gay marriage was legal, they had little ceremonies they did. Hours after Dibble notified colleagues explaining the explicit mail that some of them had received. He committed a crime. This, this is revenge porn. And I don't trust nobody in the Senate. I don't trust no CEO of McDonald's or nowhere. I don't trust none of those uh, elite bastards. Don't trust them. They can push a story to um, influence the masses to think this or think that. And I want to see what's coming out of this because it's something that they want to come out of this. That's why they hired these people. Katie Hill, this senator, and the McDonald's CEO. There's a reason they tapped these people on the shoulder and told them to, to go through this. If I go through this, I don't believe anybody was sent photos. I don't believe... um. Katie Hill. I don't believe the Katie Hill story. I think that's all made up. I think this is made up, and that CEO McDonald story is made up, and it's made up for a reason. We're, we're gonna see as the days go by why why all this was put into the limelight. People said he had an online relationship with a man who lives outside the country. The other man wanted to come to Minnesota and take it to the next level, but Dibble refused. So the man, according to Dibble, began to threaten him. Misplace my trust in some bullshit. We passed the law for revenge porn in 2016 because we know this happens to people. Senator Susan Kent of Woodbury did not receive the mail, but she did reach out mm -hmm. to offer support to Dibble. I think he'll get a lot of grace on this one. You know, that people recognize he's a good guy and a good public servant. Minnesota Public Radio contacted the. Hey, well, first of all, he's homosexual. So he's put, he'll push anything homosexual onto your kids, into your kids' school, into your kids' mind, into your kids' cartoon, edu education, like I said, school. No, don't, don't fall for that shit. I don't know, excuse my language. I don't know why y'all fall for that. ...person who sent these messages, he says he lives in Singapore now, so the odds of him coming back here to face criminal charges for revenge porn are pretty slim. In St. Paul... John Croman, Care 11 News. Yeah, pretty slim because they made it up. I'm pretty sure Katie Hill was paid off. These people are paid to be involved in these stories. Trust me, they're paid to be involved and say this happened and that happened. But none of this don't make no sense. After Katie Hill, you got two more stories of freaking revenge porn involving another senator. Then involving an elite CEO of McDonald's who could easily run for senator and easily could have been a senator. I just like Donald Trump easily became president. All right, come on. This is this. No. Nah. Anywho. I just want to report on that. I, I will do more videos as soon as I um, research more. Gather my do thoughts. And um, of course I'll release another video. So let's recap. Um, McDonald's CEO stepped down, or he was forced to step down after he had a relationship with the employee. Then before that was this story about Scott Dribble. Dibble. I, I totally forgot about this. This I read about this two days ago. Forgot to do a video on it. You got Scott Dibble and his perverted um, lover. 
and their um and their made up story, which is b bullshit. Excuse the language. And then this all ties into Katie Hill. Like, come come on now, dog. Come on. This don't make no sense at all. It's none of this makes sense. I just want to know what the hell they got planned, because they got something planned. Right, this is Awkward Occurrence, Awkward Entertainment, and I'll see you in the next video.